It looks like only two networks will have the Galaxy Fold for sale this spring. Oppo just announced their 5G smartphone in addition to a very impressive camera module. And if you're into iPhones and want 5G, you'll have to wait until 2020 thanks to Intel. I'm Jaime Rivera, and uh, the reason why we're making a show on Saturday is because there's a lot of hot to cover. This is Pocket Out Daily, powered by Qualcomm. The official news today begin with deals. Those of you in the market for a Google Pixel 3 or Pixel 3 XL, follow the first link in the description because, uh, well, the discounts are now significant, $599 and $699, depending on which variant you're looking for. And, uh, well, you know that we do recommend the Pixels. They're not necessarily the best looking phones, but they are some of the best. Now let's talk about Google I.O. For those of you that are wondering when the event is happening, set your calendars for May 7th to May 9th. Uh, there are crazy price tags to get in, obviously, if you're not pressed, but it seems that if you're a teacher and you've got students, there's an easier way to get in. Follow the link in the description to learn more. But yeah, Google I.O. is coming. We can't wait to hear what Android, uh, what is it? Uh, Q? What will it be? Quiche? Now let's talk about 5G and the phone that apparently will not get it at all this year. As of, well, according to Reuters, Intel pretty much has confirmed that they won't be able to provide 5G technology until 2020. Meaning that since iPhones are being powered by Intel, guess which phones are not getting 5G? The reports are that definitely the next generation iPhones will not get it, which is really sad considering the fact that they will most likely cost like if they had 5G. And speaking of 5G, today's event here at Oppo was really fantastic. We got to see two interesting announcements. First, their 5G phone, which should be coming later this year. Sadly, it was set and we couldn't really touch it, but uh, we do have some clips and there will be a video more detailed about it. In addition to that, the lossless Zoom that the company pretty much pioneered two years ago in a demo, it just became a mainstream. We were actually able to see prototypes today with the technology that go from 16, from 16 millimeters to pretty much 160 millimeters in lossless zoom. They showed us some demos. We actually tried some models and some markups of photography and I really can't wait to see this because actually it's a periscopic technology that actually moves the lenses within the phone. I find it to be awesome. Let's see when we get something official. Apparently it'll happen in Q2. Finally, the hottest news today have to do with, uh, well, the Galaxy Fold. For those of you wondering exactly when we are getting this product, obviously we already have a date, we already have a price tag, but the question is carriers. When in the United States? Apparently there will only be two, T-Mobile and AT&T, and the price tag is pretty much going to oscillate $2,000. Seems that Verizon and Sprint, I'm not saying that they're not interested, it's just they haven't really mentioned that they're getting it. So in today's question, let us know, I mean, what do you think? Galaxy Fold, are you willing to pay the $2,000 for this product? Because honestly, in my case, definitely not, but leave us a comment down below. We'd love to know your opinion. As smartphones get more powerful, the theme of MWC 2019 is the Qualcomm Snapdragon 855 mobile platform. Its 7 nanometer process and power efficiency architecture means 45% more performance, 20% faster graphics, and all in a more efficient architecture. For you, this means up to 6 hours of 4K HDR video recording, more than 2 hours of graphics intensive gaming, and even charging your phone from 0 to 50% in just 15 minutes. It's the reason the hottest phones being announced here are powered by Snapdragon. Follow the link in the description below to learn more about the great performance of the Qualcomm Snapdragon 855 mobile platform. Friends, again, if you want to get the news earlier, follow us on PocketNow.com and subscribe to both our channels, English and Spanish, for more videos like this one. You can follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera, or on Instagram at Jaime Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I'm Jaime Rivera. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.